Wormwood is a plant. That is the best way to summarize them. When you play Wormwood, you start as a small seed in a harsh world. Weak and no way to take advantage of the early game. Getting basic resources can be difficult for an early Wormwood player. You can't take advantage of butterflies for healing and digging plants or chopping trees makes you crazy. But if you can handle the harsh early game and gather up enough supplies, this is the point where Wormwood begins to shine. Wormwood is interesting. He is a character that basically goes against all gameplay standards for a human character. All of this because of this stat right here. He doesn't get health from food. Because of this, Wormwood may be a bit harder to survive early on. You can't just heal from easy sources that are accessible to the player right out of the gate. But you can also just eat red caps, so I think that's a good trade-off. Wormwood's survival can be a bit troublesome at first, but once he gets established, you cannot stop this character. Wormwood is great at snowballing. Once everything is set up, everything starts feeding into each other. Twigs make more twigs, berries make more berries, and with just this, the Wormwood snowball begins. Starting with just basic supplies, Wormwood can create poop, rot, and more plants. If he did some mining for Nidor, you now have access to Wormwood's speed buff and a lot of healing. Wormwood's speed plays a big role in his playstyle. Even the first stage gives a small 6% boost. It's really just nice to have, and you can do a lot more things early on that a normal player wouldn't. Normally a player would be straddled by a beef load to reach these types of speeds early on. And beef loads are not bad for Wormwood, but I don't think he actually benefits the most from them. You can avoid taking health damage and you can also proc his armor combo with it, but beefaloes don't provide as much to Wormwood as they do other characters. They are still pretty useful though. Wormwood's main draw is that he can provide a lot of resources purely out of his own body. The main one people will see will be living logs. With a good Wormwood, you will end up having way more logs than you would know what to do with. And even now, with his new skill trees, you are able to access some really great recipes early on in the game. All of this at the trade of health which Wormwood can handle himself pretty nicely. Wormwood can heal through standard healing items like glands, salves, and poultices, or through fertilization items such as poop and rot. Poop heals Wormwood instantly while rot heals over time. You can also sleep to gain health, which is probably the best way because Wormwood can produce so much food. Since you don't need to hoe, tending plants is much faster and easier. You can quickly mass produce foods with the seeds that you get in the early days. You can convert all of that food into health and become a living log machine. Then he also has access to strong weapons and strong armor early on, which in turn gives you more items. Easy spider farming for silk and glands, and bee collecting which makes even more healing. This then leads you to having a lot of resources that allow you to create a death pit anywhere you go. As you play a world with Wormwood, he just gets stronger and stronger until he has completely infested an area. Wormwood being able to craft mostly non-renewable plants is amazing. Creating saplings is simple and can be used to create more health for Wormwood. Berries feed into each other and make more bushes, and they can also be used to create poop and rot for other Wormwood crafts and healing. Another important mob for Wormwood is bees. Bees are actually pretty great for Wormwood. Not only do they drop resources for his trap and armor, they also make honey, which in combination with reeds can be used to make Wormwood's most consistent healing, the honey poultice. Believe me, I never really make this item as a normal player, but being Wormwood really made me love these items. The ease of collecting it too. All it takes is a small trip to the ruins to kill monkeys, which Wormwood is actually pretty good at, allows you to receive a lot of bananas to combine with reeds to make monkey tails, leading for us to be able to start mass producing healing, so that way we can get into our combat. Wormwood's interesting in combat. He's kind of one of the harder characters to use just because of the healing, but we've already taken care of that. Without it though, a lot of times you will be taken out of combat for longer than most characters, just cause Wormwood's healing is kinda slow. But as a trade-off, Wormwood can actually handle combat that other characters can't. His innate speed while bloomed gives you a lot more leeway on fights. You are able to do kites that normal players can't. Wormwood also has better odds fighting against a group of enemies. Normally a player would have to slowly whittle down one mob at a time, but Wormwood can do area damage around him to clear groups of enemies faster. Wormwood also gets an increase in DPS over normal characters thanks to his skill trees, depending on what weapon you're using. Not to mention, you could also spawn two rather tanky and damaging Saladmanders to help. These things are pretty durable, and I would say even more durable than Bernie, and that's just kind of because the damage is spread out between two creatures, plus a higher damage output. In addition, these creatures also regen. They will regen 960 HP a day, so they are really great for just general damage. I just wish they weren't so slow, and they would help out each other when they got aggroed onto. On the other side, he has a defensive armor that stops creatures in place if they get hit. 
Good for a few fights where you get chased and stopping the attacker will help you avoid damage. But it's not really that useful. It's good for monkeys outside of the nightmare cycles because they actually get hit and stunned if they throw poop at you eventually dying to the roots or by your hand. All in all, Wormwood is great. He is a speedy mixed attacker that can cover his weaknesses of healing by being able to mass produce items. There are not many characters that do that nowadays. Most characters have their upsides and downsides and they should work in a way that naturally guide the player into a fun playstyle. I feel Wormwood really fits into that nicely. He plays completely different from a standard player, but that does not stop the player from having fun with him. Either with speed or bonus combat capabilities, give this lonely plant boy some love. Thanks everyone for watching. As this goes up, there's a poll in the description for what character I should cover for November. Currently, I have covered Walter and Wormwood, so make sure to do a vote on who I should cover next. I'll be doing streams on them coming next week, so get out there and vote. Till then, this has been Tara, and I'll see you next time. Take care.